Hey everyone, it's Steve the Nortel Guy. This video is going to be about adding voice over IP telephone lines to your legacy Northstar system. So if you have a Nortel uh, 3x8, a 6x16, uh, if you have a compact ICS, or if you have a Northstar MCIS, modular ICS, these are capable of using voice over IP telephone lines. You just need to use what's known as a analog terminal adapter or a voice over IP analog terminal adapter. Now you may have heard from some people, particularly those interested in trying to sell you a newer phone system, that your old Northstar system is not capable of voice over IP. To some extent that is true, however, with the use of an analog terminal adapter, this little black box here, or other boxes like it, you can take voice over IP service and you can adapt it to work on the North Star and then get the advantages of cheaper phone calls, international dialing. Uh, some plans now I've heard even include calls to Europe uh, is all part of a flat monthly fee. So voice over IP has got some big advantages, one of them being uh, price. So how does this work? Well, voice over IP is basically just the, the digitization of telephone conversations that are being moved over the internet. So instead of having the traditional copper wires that carry the conversation over the telephone poles, now we're moving that conversation onto the internet and that's referred to as voice over IP. So you get you one of these little boxes. This is a Cisco Linksys uh, ATA. Uh, I think this is the PAP122. They have a lot of different models. Uh, Cisco's not the only game in town either. It's just the one I have. And what it's got is a spot in the back where the internet plugs in and then it's got two spots for telephone lines. Now these telephone lines are just like the lines you would use in your house. They're analog telephone lines and they behave very much the same way that lines would that are currently coming from the telephone company that plug into your system. Now this little guy back here in the back that's an 8 port version so if you're thinking well hey you know I want to do more lines they make bigger ones in fact they even make a they even make a unit I think that has 24 lines so ATA is coming you know one line, two line, eight line, 24 line versions so what these things do is you have to get a, you have to get signed up with a voice over IP service and they give you like a login a password there's a few other little credentials and you use your computer to, to, to configure this thing and it's, it's actually not that hard I'll probably do a separate video on that and once you do you'll get dial tone coming out of these little ports so let's take a look at the Northstar system we'll start with a 3x8 because that's probably going to be one of the simplest to explain on only because the telephone lines go in there are already modular. Now I'm going to pick you up and take you over to the system. Do you see right here under the red light these three little spots here? That's line one, line two, line three. They're just little modular plugs just like the same kind like you you would use to plug in a home telephone line. Well so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a regular old silver satin RJ11 cord RJ11 meaning these little skinny connect these little thinner connectors not the fatter network connectors I'm gonna plug one in into the ATA and the phone port I'm gonna take the other end and you guessed it I'm gonna plug it into the line 3 spot on my Northstar 3x8 then I'm gonna to go to my telephone and I'm gonna push line 3 and I've got dial tone. So really the bottom line is that the dial tone that you can get from one of these voice over IP ATAs Hi. Thanks for is really not that much different than the dial tone you get from the phone company. And the advantages of voice over IP is that um, it's, uh, well for one thing it's generally cheaper uh, it also has disaster recovery capabilities which um, are pretty cool. Um, you can manipulate the caller ID and I'm not saying that you would do that for any reason other than, than uh, ben, uh, you know, well-intentioned reasons, but you can have the caller ID be the same as your main incoming line so that every time you dial out it looks like the same caller ID every time. Um, now, so that was a demonstration on a 3x8, but let's suppose you've got one of these bigger systems, okay, like like the modular ICS there. Well, they don't have the little modular plug, so you're going to need to either get somebody who's familiar with how to work on these um, the punch down connections, like like here, um, or on a 66 block, or you're going to have to have your phone vendor come in and connect this for you. Um, so because 
you know, while that had the modular connectors, these don't. These have like little uh, two wire connectors that have use a special punch down tool to connect those. And uh, but you can certainly replace one or two or even all of the lines on your system with voice over IP lines. And um, if I was you and I was considering, I think I'd start out small, maybe start with maybe two lines, see how that goes for a while. And then if you really feel comfortable with it, maybe maybe switch half your lines over to voice over IP. Now, if you do happen to have the BCM, which is that guy right there, the little, this guy right here, the BCM already has voice over IP capability natively installed, so you don't have to use an ATA. Um, you can, you can use an ATA, that is another way to do it, um, but you're, it's a little bit overkill because there's already the ability to, to put voice over IP in there. Also, if you're lucky enough to be one of the people who's upgraded to the eMetrotel UCX, um, that also has voice over IP capability natively installed. So this video really was more targeting people who had the older legacy uh, Northstar uh, 3x8s, 6x16s, compact ICS, or modular ICS. Okay, that's about, it's really just about that simple, folks. You'll just need to know um, how to configure this box, and we can talk about that at a separate time. All right, thanks for watching.